Und damit einen schönen guten Morgen an Sie alle. Schön, dass Sie wieder mit dabei sind an unserem zweiten Tag hier bei unserer DAAD-Konferenz zur Internationalisierung und Diversität an Hochschulen. Wie gesagt, an unserem zweiten Tag. Wir starten gemeinsam in diesem Morgen. A warm welcome also to our international guests. Hello and welcome everyone. Nice to see you back for our second day of the DAAD conference on internationalization and diversity in higher education. Internationalisierung und Diversität an Hochschulen, das ist unser Thema. Wie steht es um So we're talking about internationalization and diversity in higher education. Are these topics running on autopilot or not? Yesterday we already mentioned several important topics. We talked about diversity in German foreign policy. We also talked about the obstacles that students are faced with when studying abroad. We talked about communication, but also about funding and also about taking into account special situations of life, like first generation academics or students with illnesses. Before we're going to uh, start into our second day, I'd like to give you some organizational tips. Maybe some of you are here for the first time. A warm welcome to all of you. We are happy to have you with us. We have uh, this conference is in German and in English. So on the left hand side, you will find a small icon with a globe. You can switch between the languages, German and English. We also have subtitles. The link is going to be posted in the chat. So we have a live subtitling during the entire conference if you want to ask a question or have a comment, you can also post your questions in the chat. My name is Kathy Gallos and I am uh, happy to be your moderator for this day. Some parts of this program will be recorded. You will see a red dot on your screen whenever we are recording. You as the participants have, when registering for this conference, agreed to being recorded. If you do not want your video um, if you do not want to be included in the video, please let us know in the chat and the organizers will make sure that you're not in the recording. Today, we are going to look back. Graphic recorder is going to be with us during the whole day and we will see at the end of the day what graphic recorder has summed up. Also noch mal auf das Thema zurückkommen. So coming back to our topic, equal opportunities in internationalization of higher education. How can internationalization in higher education and academia made more accessible for marginalized groups? And how can cooperation between international universities contribute to increasing participation of such groups? Today and yesterday altogether, we have more than 60 uh, speakers and moderators in the workshops and in the plenary session. And now I would like to welcome the Secretary General of the German Academic Exchange Service, Dr. Kai Six. Good morning. Good morning, Mrs. Gallos. Good morning for this. Uh, thank you very much for this introduction. Dear Mr. Kalleve, dear speakers, and dear students, dear representatives of the universities and of the academic institutions, dear colleagues, I'm also very happy to be here today with you. This is the second day of our conference on internationalization and diversity, and the question whether or not this is running an autopilot. The relationship between these two big terms have already been discussed. So I wondered what kind of new impetus I could bring to you today. And then I found a book a couple of days ago, and the title is The Beauty of Difference, written by a journalist, Aduna Elka. Maybe you have read or seen this book. This phrase, the beauty of difference, is something that I 
anzunehmen. Insofern, wenn ich das Programm heute mit Fragen when addressing this topic. So I'm going to open ableiten, this program today with a couple of questions from this book. First of all, what could the beauty of difference mean in our field of action in international academic exchange? And the second question, how can international academic exchange and cooperation contribute to appreciating or enhancing the beauty of difference? Morgen gern drei Punkte machen, ähm, einleitend. I have brought three Erstens, uh, die Schönheit der Differenz und die First of all, the beauty of difference and the beauty of ähm, internationalization. Ja zwei, also mal mindestens zwei Grundüberzeugungen, aus denen There sich für den ich glaube auch für Sie an den Hochschulen for the DAAD and also for you at the universities. Erstens, when it comes to the value of international exchange, we are convinced that everybody is entitled to the same rights and the same liberties and also are entitled to fair access to education. International academic exchange uh, increases the chances of having access. The second conviction is that if people from different countries learn and study together, this increases perspectives and this in turn also increases academic quality. These two convictions, however, are not only limited to international exchange, they are derived from the general value that the exchange of people with different backgrounds at universities holds. So the exchange of people from different countries, yes, but also people with different academic backgrounds, with different family migration stories, with different genders and so on. And that's the beauty of difference dass sie in academia. Für einen gerechten Zugang steht und dass sie eben Perspektiven It stands for equitable access erhöht. to the perspectives and for an increasing quality. Also the value of internationalization, therefore, is based on this beauty of difference. Internationalization and diversity, as we already discussed, are also interlinked. Diversity profits from international academic encounters at universities. In turn, however, also the international academic exchange profits from the fact that people with different characteristics are involved. Because if diverse people have access to international um, educational and research uh, opportunities, this dialogue of people from different countries, it's another, a new dimension. The students yesterday shared their experience made abroad and these were really Außerdem impressive testimonials. Und, um, auch fest we daran, dass do believe that international Studium experience during the studies helps the students to find attractive and leading positions in the also society and also in academia. If diverse people have the chance to make such experience, then diversity of future experts and professionals with intercultural competence will also increase in the future, and this will also be beneficial for our societies. For us at the DAAD, this means that we have to focus on diversity, and this is also an opportunity to, to increase the quality of our funding activities. And this leads me to the second point, the question, how the beauty, beauty of difference can be um, put on a test, so to say. At the DAAD, we are convinced that we have to represent and promote diversity even better than we have already done. We want to enable equal opportunities not only at the DAAD, but also in cooperation with you, the universities, and the higher education institutions and the students. And this is also the reason why we have organized this conference, because together with you, we want to learn how we can improve access to studying abroad and make it even 
easier. Eine Diversitätsagenda gewesen, die wir vor wenigen We Monaten have a diversity agenda at the DAAD. DAAD was published a couple of months ago. You can find it at our website. It was the result of a participative process at the DAAD. We tried to prepare the status quo of the DAAD when it comes to diversity. And this process has been going on for several years. Im Zentrum der Diversitätsagenda yet. At the center der of the diversity agenda, of course, und die Frage, wie kann es we have die scholarship holders. And the question und is, how can we take this diversity auch of our um, scholarship haben, holders and increase it even further? Focusing on those who find it difficult to study abroad. We already mentioned first-generation academics, students with children, or uh, Students with mal, das ist ein erster wichtiger Punkt illnesses or disabilities. Wir das erreichen durch eine Ansprache, we want die Mut to macht. have a great outreach. We want to encourage students and we also want to focus on Nun, our selection processes. Im Extraordinary achievements and life situations auch, should be taken into account in the process and activities in order to raise the awareness of the members of the selection committee have to be taken. In addition, so we will make sure that our services are more flexible so that they can be adjusted to different situations. This also includes the adjustment of our funding services. We already heard a little about Erasmus Plus and what has changed. In the last year, we also talked about the scholarships and we will adjust the services shortly as well. We will also have hybrid and digital exchange formats even after the uh, pandemic because we want to have uh, better offers for people who want to study from their homes. Das möchte ich noch ähm, aus der Agenda and referieren. Gehört natürlich auch die Innensicht of course, dazu. Wir we glauben, also have to ich glaube, dass es für Institutionen, die stark international sind, ist jetzt Organizations, organizations with strong international DAD, contacts, also, like so universities or the DAAD, have to always be aware of their own diversity, own diversity within the institution. More than 20 years ago, we have people with different qualities, with different characteristics. They have different, you know, different languages. They have different negotiation techniques because they come from different countries. And there are also some characteristics that have nothing to do with the people's origin. And these people can really um, contribute to our work a lot. And so far, this diversity was seen by us as something that is, comes with the process, but we have not really focused on it. So we are really looking forward to having a dialogue with our universities in order to even improve our work. So this was a short overview on the diversity agenda of the DAAD. There are also a couple of points that I have not mentioned yet. We also want to monitor the different diversity aspects even better. We want to record data. We also, of course, want to focus on feminist foreign policy as we heard yesterday by Mr. Tichere. These are the measures that we want to take in order to enhance the beauty of difference in international Punkt, academic exchange. This brings me to point number three, the beauty of difference and the geopolitical differences. In concluding, I'd like to put this in a geopolitical context. In face of the Russian war in Ukraine, we have to ask the questions whether the word difference is uh, something beautiful. Difference, as Mrs. Haruna Oka put it, means an open, productive exchange and encounter of different origins and different characteristics. The beauty of difference, of course, is 
Was wir weltweit immer häufiger auf Abschottung und Find a safe space at the universities. That's why two years ago we launched a program at the DAAD. That's also the reason why we are also active in Myanmar, certain countries, for instance in Myanmar, in Syria, and in other countries. Uh, suffering from conflicts and wars. And of course, this is just a small contribution, but nevertheless, it is an important uh, symbol of hope for a lot of students all over the world that are threatened or persecuted. And it is also an important contribution to diversity and equal opportunities. So these activities for uh, refugees and are very important. We could really uh, have a, a separate a presentation on this topic. This is brings me back to the question whether internationalization and diversity is running on autopilot. We all learned that we want to enhance diversity and internationalization, and we cannot rely on it running on autopilot. We have to be productive in further developing internationalization and diversity, and I hope that yesterday and today you will get a lot of impetus for your work. I think this uh, conference so far has been extremely interesting. Thank you for your contribution and I'm looking forward to today.